and to our dear friend Banquo. Would he were here. To all and him we'll drink. Good friends, a toast. All failed that death. A vault and quit my sight, let the earth hide thee. Thy blood is cold, begone. Oh, and no horrible no, shadow. My lord, you have displaced the mirth. Broke the good meeting with most admired disorder. Can you behold such sights and keep the natural ruby of your cheeks when mine is blanched with fear? What sights, my lord? I pray you, friends, speak not. He grows worse and worse. Question enrages him. At once, good night. Stand not upon the order of your going with the court once. Good night. Let her help attend your majesty. Good night. Husband, I pray thee... It will have blood... They say blood will have blood. I am in blood stepped in so far that should I wade no more, returning were as tedious as go o'er. You lack the season of all natures. Sleep. Come, we'll to sleep. But on the morrow and betimes I will to the weird sisters. More shall they speak. For now I am bent to know by the worst means, the worst. For mine own good, all causes shall give way. About the cauldron go in the poison entrails throw. Lizard leg toe of a frog. Baboon's blood. And tongue of dog. An owl's wing. Five snake in the cauldron boil and bake. Double, double toil and trouble. Fire burn, burn and, and cauldron bubble. bubble. By the pricking of my thumb, something wicked this way comes. How oh, now, you secret black and midnight hags, what is to do? A deed without a name. I conjure you by that which you profess, however you came to know it. Answer me to what I ask. Speak, man. We'll answer. Say if thou rather hear it from our mouths or from our mistress. Call her, let me see her. Shh. What is this that rises like a shadow? Speak not. She knows thy thoughts. Macbeth, Macbeth, beware Macduff, beware the fate of fight, and not. Whatever thou wert for thy good caution, thanks, thou hast harped my fear aright, and so Macduff, I... What again? Be bloody, bold, and resolute, laugh to scorn the power of man, for none of woman born shall harm Macbeth. And live, Macduff, what need I fear of thee? But yet I'll make assurance double sure. Thou shalt not live, Macduff, that I may tell pale-hearted fear it lies and sleep in spite of thunder. Again! He lie a metalled proud and take no care who chase, who threats, or where conspirers are. Macbeth shall never vanquish thee until great Burnham Wood to high Dunstanane Hill shall come against him. That shall never be. Who can enlist the forest, bid the tree unfix his earthbound root? Sweet Pogment's good. Rebellion's head rise never till the wood of Burnham rise. And our high place Macbeth shall live the lease of nature. Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire, Fire burn, burn and cauldron bubble. <laughs> Gone as before. Melted into the wind. Infected be the air whereon they ride. My lord! Who's there? Your majesty. Who is it? Your Majesty, I, I bring you word from Dunsinane. What is thy message? The Queen sends word, my lord. What word? Speak, man. There's news, sir, that Macduff and other nobles, too, have fled to England. To England? Aye, to Prince Malcolm. Time thou anticipates my dread exploits. Fear, Macduff. The castle of Macduff I will surprise. Give to the edge of the sword all souls who trace him from his line. No boasting like a fool. This deed I'll do before the purpose cool. Worthy 
Lady Macduff, welcome to England. My lord. How does my Scotland? It bleeds, good prince. It sinks beneath the yoke. Each day a gash is added to her wound. The last poor country. Good sir, your eye in Scotland would create soldiers. Make our women fight to doff their dire distresses. If I take up war against this tyrant, will not my bleeding land suffer yet more from our success? The Lord, as I rode to join you, word overtook me that this bloody king, whose sole name blisters my tongue, hath late surprised my castle. And my wife and babe, savagely slaughtered. Merciful heaven, what can I say to cure such deadly grief? Say nothing. Only come and let us make medicine of revenge. Front to front, bring thou this fiend of Scotland and myself within my sword link, set him. If he escape, let heaven forgive him. I will come. What I am is thine and my poor country's to command. Our power is ready. Receive what cheer you may. The night is long that never finds the day. In Dunsinane Castle, high in the hills, Macbeth prepares to make his stand. Meanwhile, the doctor at the castle has learned of some strange symptoms shown by Lady Macbeth as reported to him by her lady-in-waiting. It is night at Dunsinane. When was it she last walked? I cannot say, doctor. A great perturbation in nature to receive at once the benefit of sleep and do the effects of watching. Lo, here she comes. This is her very guise. Fast asleep. How came she by that light? Why, it stood by her. She has light by her continually. Tis her command. Her eyes are open. Aye, but their sense is shut. What is it she does now? Look how she rubs her hands. It is an accustomed action with her to seem, thus washing her hands. I've known her continue in this a quarter of an hour. Yet here's a spot. Hark, she speaks. I will set down what comes from her. Out, damn spot. Out, I say. Who would have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him? Do you mark that? The Thane of Fife had a wife. Where is she now? What will these hands ne'er be clean? No more of that, my lord. No more of that. You mar all with this starting. Go to, go to. You have known what you should not. She has spoke what she should not. I'm sure of that. Here's the smell of the blood still. All the perfumes of Arabia. Will not sweeten this little hand. Oh. What a sigh oh. is there. Her heart is sorely charged. Wash your hands. Put on your nightgown. Look not so pale. I tell you yet again. Then close buried. He cannot come out on the grave. Even so. To bed. To bed. There's knocking at the gate. Come. Come, come. Come. Give me your hand. What's done cannot be undone. Will 
she go now to bed? Directly. God. God forgive us all. This is beyond my practice. 